Jesus. Space, but we're very grateful for that, that you're here. And she's going to share some information about her artwork, and then uh, at closing, I want to introduce you to something new that's going on at the library, okay? And uh, uh, take it from there. Okay. Well, I'm going to just pass it off to my wife and just say, <laughs> Welcome, Barrett's Chapel. It's good to have you all come in for this. You know, a, a, a little bit of information. My mother taught school at Barrett's Chapel many, many years ago. In, in, we're the teachers at Barrett's Chapel. My mother taught, uh, this was when Barrett's Chapel was a high school. And that was back, uh, oh, a long time ago, in the 60s. But uh, I, I know very well where Barrett's Chapel is. It's a beautiful little school, and I'm so glad that you all could come in and, and be a part of that. Now, I'm going to kind of step off to the side and introduce my lovely wife here, who will talk art to Patricia. I didn't know he was coming. I have to tell you, he's my biggest cheerleader. <laughs> he encourages me a whole lot. And when I put my pictures all out on the breakfast table and we have to go eat somewhere else, I have it covered in paints. He's real nice about that, too. <laughs> How many of you take, are you in fifth, sixth? Fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> do you have art classes? Is that part of what you do? Yeah. Great, great. How many of you love doing it? Okay, that's wonderful. That's great. Um, you know, art can be a lot of fun. It can be a good way to express yourself. And uh, you can do it for the rest of your life. I uh, was in seventh grade when I discovered that I could paint. My seventh grade teacher hung a yellow slicker raincoat on a nail and said, paint it. And so I did. And I got a B, and so I decided, well, something I might enjoy doing. That was done with a paintbrush, and I did what they, what I was telling you about. I layered coats of paint on it. Um, as you learn more and more about art, you'll learn about shadows and shading. If you know what that is right now, you, yeah, you know, every picture has light, and if your light comes in from this direction, it's lighter, right? And the other side's darker. So that's what I worked on doing in that picture, was working with light colors and dark colors. So everything <laughs> oh, I'll talk about. That's another paintbrush. Um, and it's um, another thing that, that's, that was interesting to do and makes this picture kind of come to life is the light and darks, knowing where my light is and then capturing that light. You can look at the teapot and see that little white dot. That's um, the catch light. So that's, that just shows. And what it does is it helps make that pot round. Rather picture light. she's getting ready to show. The other thing I do, and I just learned to do this in 2008. So it wasn't that long ago. I took a class. And I still take classes. You know, you're never too old to learn. I still take painting classes and have for years. Uh, and in this class, I had a teacher that taught me how to paint with a palette knife. And you don't use a brush at all. And a palette knife is about that long, about that wide. And when you paint with a palette knife, you don't do the building color up. You put it on there, and while it's wet, you'll mix another color <coughs> in with it. And you just put it on there, and that's it. And you don't have to clean brushes, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and it gives you a total, totally different look. It's a lot looser. Um, not everything's not quite as, as precise. So I'm enjoying using a palette knife. So you'll see the difference. It's not. This still life was done with a palette knife, and it's not as precise 
and all as the other one that I showed you. And uh, with some of the, and the paint's thick. I don't know if you can see it. The paint's on there really thick. Kind of stands out, gives it more of a 3D effect. <coughs> um, the difficult thing about that, again, was getting my lights in, my reflection in. Good. And uh, again, that's what helps give it shape. And so that was that was a challenge, that and the lettuce. And to be honest, I'm still not happy with the lettuce. I like the rest of it, but I still don't like my lettuce. So I don't know what to say about this one other than it's lemons. And uh, does it look like an orange? Well, it could be. You know, when you paint, uh, you look at something and uh, you think lemon is just yellow, but when you start looking at it, it's got all kinds of other colors in it. And being an artist, you can be real creative and you can stick about any color in there if you want to. And uh, that was done with the brush. I'll pick this up though. I'll put it down. My husband has, somebody asked me what's the most recent. This is the most recent one I've done. It's um, obviously a lighthouse. And it was done with a paintbrush. Now, one of the interesting <coughs> things, again, when you look at a cloud, you say it's white, but it actually has a lot of color in it. So I put lots of colors in the cloud. I think it makes it more interesting than just a plain, plain white cloud. And one of the things, one of the reasons I wanted to paint this is we took a trip to Maine a few years back and we were in a sailboat and we sailed past a little island that had this lighthouse on it and they said it was St. Mark's Island. Well, since I'm married to a mark, I took lots of pictures and thought, I'm going to paint that since it's his namesake. So I painted it from pictures and he keeps it in his office. So I was kind of proud of the way that turned out. <laughs> This is a very, very old chapel in Germany. And many years ago, we lived in Germany. This is another painting that I did with a knife. And uh, it's supposed to be in Venice, Italy. And looking out a window. So you've got these flower pots sitting out a window. And you're looking out the window. At, and now we're going to show you one of my favorites. That's my horse. Y'all like my horse? Yes. Yeah. Well, I made the mistake of giving it to my grandson, so I kind of would like to take it back. But anyway, it's in my grandson's room. That's um, maybe the most... Do y'all know what abstract art is? Okay. I don't paint abstract, but that's probably one of my... the most abstract that I did. Um, and again, lots of colors in it. I didn't want Another to reason it. I painted the horse this way is I don't actually know anatomy of a horse that well. I've not studied anatomy. So I didn't show the whole horse. You know, I probably wouldn't have been able to finish his legs and his hooves and all that. It would have been too hard. So I just painted kind of sideways of him with him turning his head. And uh, Anyway, turned out to look like a horse. <laughs> and this next picture is also done with a palette knife. And that's my granddaughter's. And uh, I took it out of her room to bring here, and she told me that her room was really plain without it. So I thought that was good. Um, now, once again, I don't do people that well. I don't know anatomy, face structure, and all those things. So she's got a big floppy hat on that covers her face. So you imagine there's a face under there. But I didn't have to paint one and have it look bad. So that's what that from a photograph that I took on an Alaska trip. My husband and I went to Alaska on a cruise not too long ago. And there was um, something special about the time of year. See the kind of pinkish purple flowers there. That was called fireweed, and they only bloom for about three weeks of the year, and we were lucky enough to get to see that. And the blue thing that you think maybe it's a lake and you wonder why it's here is a glacier. 
and those glaciers were really blue. So I um, took several photographs of that and uh, painted that when I got home. Over here is my rooster. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, the thing I say about my rooster is he's got attitude. <laughs> and uh, I keep him in my kitchen and I like the colors of the background. Uh, I like to put in all those different colors in his tail. Now that was done with the paintbrush, but it was done in a lot looser style with the paintbrush than those uh, still lifes you saw the here. <coughs> so he was fun to do. Sure. Over, I can't tell you where it is. I saw it in a magazine and um, it looks like maybe some old building in Italy or Greece or whatever. I, I did that picture in an art class because it was, it was pretty hard to do to get that circle and, and all. So it uh, it was a real challenging thing. Rome, and you're right. See, I thank you. I'm going to tell people it's from Rome. <laughs> I had no idea where it was. I just liked it. Okay, we go. Turn over here. Um, I've done all kinds of art work over the years. I kind of go through phases. And so, um, you see the ducks? That was my duck period there. Um, I learned how to carve and, and use wood burning and, and painting ducks. That's, um, that's a mallard. Y'all probably know um, what a mallard is. So that was fun to do. I did quite a few. And then the brown one is the female. You know, it always is dull and boring looking, and so that's that's. And they call it a hen. Um, this is just a decorative duck. I thought it would be fun to just put decorative painting on something and not make it look real. So I've even got something painted under the tail over there. And uh, they're roses. I like to paint roses. Oh, the bunny rabbits. Sorry. Now, I've had several people think they were dogs, but they're bunnies. They're bunnies. And uh, I'm not offended if you say dog. The log that it's on is is a palette knife. You know, I just kind of whipped it in. You did a mixture of stuff? Yes, I did a mixture. That's one of the few that I did a brush and a palette knife on. Then the rest of it is done with the brush. Um, one of the things that I was trying to learn to do, never quit learning, I'm still in an art class now, um, is how to do fur on the rabbit. And so that was um, that was something I was trying to learn to do since first. Okay. I'm glad y'all pointed him out. This picture is of Venice. It has the gondola on the water and the old buildings. And it was done with a knife. It was done very free. And you notice all the colors in that water? There's something called an artist's license. That means you don't have to paint water exactly how it looks. You don't have to paint something exactly how it looks. You can add to it, kind of make it more fun. So that's what I did with the water. I used many, many colors in the water. and. Uh, I liked how it turned out. 